Hacks 4.3.0 was recently released and it comes with many cool features. In this video, I'm going to go through a few of my favorites. This is a blog post from Elite Master Eric, who spent time outlining all the new features from Hacks 4.3.0. I'm going to have a link to this blog post in the description. Let's go through some of them. Now, instead of going through every single feature and explaining what they all do, I'm just going to go through two of the ones that I think will change the way that I use Hacks. The first one is this, support for the safe navigation operator. This is something that already exists in JavaScript and it's known as optional chaining. Let's see how this works. Currently in Hacks, if you have code that looks like this, then building the code will produce the correct value. In this case, the telephone number. But if telephone number or contact doesn't exist or is null, we get an error with the code. This can be fixed by optional chaining. All you have to do is add a question mark after the value that could be null. So if contact is null, the code doesn't give you an error. The next feature I want to talk about is the one directly below it, which is this one, the null coalescing operator. This is similar to the previous code, but it's using a ternary operator to return anonymous if name is null. In this case, name is test. So if I run the code, it's going to print out test. Changing name to null will return anonymous, but with the null coalescing operator, this whole line can be more concise. This line eight is doing the exact same thing as the previous code, but in a more readable way. If user.name is null, then return anonymous, and if it's not null, then return user.name. Here we get anonymous because it's null. And if I give name a value, you'll see that value gets returned instead. Now what's cool about these two new language features is that they can be used together. Here you can see that if phone number or contact is null, then the string no number will be printed out. We can test this and see it's working fine. If we got rid of the phone number and ran the code, you'll see we still get no number. If we got rid of the question mark, we get an error. So the question mark here is needed. And if we didn't have the null coalescing operator with the no number string, then nothing will get returned. You can already see how powerful these two features are, and I can't wait to start using them in my code. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give this video a thumbs up so others can find it, and check out the description below to find links to my Discord server and a few other cool things.